This is the third of a five-part series that looks at four different fanless Thin Mini ITX Tiny PC cases. The fifth video will compare thermal test results. This is the Akasa Galileo T, which was released in 2016. It uses two 6mm heat pipes to transfer heat to a large heat sink that makes up the left side of the case. The case can be laid flat or VESA mounted to a monitor. It is compatible with up to two 2.5-inch storage drives. It is about 12.8 inches wide, 8.4 inches deep, and 1.7 inches tall, about 3.0 liters in volume. The Akasa Galileo is marketed for 35 watt CPUs, and initial testing indicates that it can safely cool about 45 watts from the CPU. Components used in this build include the Intel i3-9100 CPU, Asus Prime H310T motherboard, 16 gigabytes of Rip Jaws DDR4 SODIMM memory from G-Skill, a 500 gigabyte 2.5 inch Crucial MX500 SSD, and an Intel 8265 M.2 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. Moving on to the build, a CPU block backplate is installed. Thermal paste is applied to the CPU. The CPU block is placed and pressed down to help evenly spread the thermal paste. Four small washers are placed, and four screws are tightened, just enough to catch the backplate's threads, before being slowly and evenly tightened further. The motherboard input-output shield is installed. The motherboard is then dropped in place and fastened down. Thermal paste is applied to two grooves in the lower part of the heatsink. and in the outer grooves of the CPU block. The two heat pipes are set into place. Thermal paste is added to the CPU block top plate, and it is fastened to hold the heat pipes in place. More paste is added to the grooves in the top part of the heatsink, and a bit is added between the two heatsink halves.
The top half of the heatsink is then placed and fastened. It is important to tighten the screws in a certain order as outlined in the manual. Front panel USB 2.0, USB 3.0, and power and LED cables are plugged into the motherboard. Antenna connectors are fastened to the case. A plastic separator is added to a 2.5 inch SSD and a mounting bracket is fastened to the SSD. The SSD bracket is mounted to the case and the data and power cables are plugged into the motherboard. Finally, the case's top plate is fastened. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more fanless PC content and click on these videos for more PC assembly guides.